Hey guys, this is Feverhost with AndroidTablets.net and TabletVideos.info. I want to do a really quick video on how to root this Pan Digital 7 inch multimedia e reader that you can turn into a tablet, Android tablet. As you can see here, I have already successfully rooted this device and turned it into a full blown tablet. First thing, what you need to do is you need to connect your pan digital to your computer with this USB mini cable which I have done. First thing you will see on the computer here is the pan digital <coughs> that's connected and we're going to connect into this. Now this is the internal flash card that is inside the pan digital. What you want to do now is head over to my website which is tabletvideos.info forward slash downloads <coughs> excuse me and then you'll see a file called pdroot.zip first thing you want to do is download that so let's assume we click on this it's downloaded to wherever you download your files and here we go pdroot second thing you'll do is right click and you will send to your PD Novell gone to our PD Novell and we're going to watch this thing transfer to your tablet. <coughs> so here it goes. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. Now this is uh, a flash version that I got from SlateDroid.com. This does have the working Google market. In my previous video, I indicated that I know Wi-Fi problems. Unfortunately, under further investigation, that's not entirely true. I am having some Wi-Fi issues. Once your Pan Digital <coughs> goes into power saving mode, if you click back on the screen, you'll notice your Wi-Fi connection is no longer enabled. If you go to the settings and try to re-enable it, you'll get an error that says, Cannot start Wi-Fi scanner. Unfortunately, you will have to completely restart the device. There is a fix that I've noticed on Slate Droid, but I've tried to patch it and I have not been successful yet. <coughs> so let's see um, the next couple days what will happen. So what you do is go down to your pen digital internal flash card. Here it is, PD root. It's on there. And what we're going to do is close this window down and we are going to disconnect USB mini. From this point, what we would do is we would power off our pan digital by simply holding this down for a couple of seconds. You'll see your power off little button here, and we'll power this guy off completely. <clears throat> Now, mind you, since this is a beginner's flashware version, it ex is extremely easy to do this. This doesn't take any skill at all. It's simply downloading this file, sending it to your pan digital, disconnecting the plug. What you do from this point is you hold down your power button up here on the left hand side and your volume up button at the same time for five seconds. Now what those do is will force your pan digital to read the zip file which is your new flashware and it'll go through the entire process. If everything works out correctly <coughs> within about two or three minutes you'll turn it on and we'll see what it looks like. See, so we're going to assume that we flashed it and we're going to turn it on back on the first time. So here we go. Turn back on. Now you can watch to see how long it takes to turn on. Now you're still going to see your Pan Digital Novell main screen pop up here. <coughs> and within a couple of moments, you're going to see the bottom screen here start to scroll over. That's also the same image you're going to see on the stock version. And that will pop up any second on the bottom. I also want to say while we're waiting, um, the only issues I've, I've encountered so far is the Wi-Fi not working 100% and the headphone jack, even though you put headphones on and you can hear the music or videos 
in the headphones, it still plays on the speakers. Uh, there's a couple people who are trying to work on a fix for that, and that would be nice if it was fixed. But besides that, I haven't had any issues. The market works fine. There's a little bit of a trick you have to get around that. Um, I can post along with this video how to do that. It's very simple. It's just requiring you to log into the market, enter your account, sign off the market, sign back in, and enter in a second account, um, sign off, sign back in one more time, and then after that, the marketplace will work. <laughs> then if you want, you can simply delete the second account and go from there. So anyways, this will come up. If you root it successfully, you would actually have the lock button down here. So click over here and bring it all the way up. And then, uh, there you go. You would have your rooted Pangidal tablet, and you can tell it's rooted because we can go on down here to our dev tools, which I put on the home screen, but this would be in the main section here of your of your apps. This is going to take a second because loading some stuff in the background. Uh, we click on our dev tools. You can tell this is rooted uh, by all these extra little stuff. Plus, you can get to the terminal emulator which is going to show you right down to the uh, SSH type prompt that you are now at the full root access of this tablet. And we can go down here and we can check out the accounts tester and we can look at the instrumentation. There's a media scanner. You can do a running processes which is kind of neat. You can tell exactly what's running on this this tablet. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also go to the document or the development settings on this, and you can show running processes, which is down here on the right hand side. And along with that, it will show you the actual uptime of the device. So, right now it's running at 3.53, 1.77, and 0.68. So, not really a lot running right now. One thing I recommend once you flash this is definitely. <coughs> download open advanced task killer when this thing first starts up you will want to kill all these apps that pan digital installs at the beginning this will dramatically increase the speed of your tablet to the point where like I said in my last video I barely have to touch this and it starts working almost as well as a capacitive screen they did a great job on this um, firmware version just unbelievably good. Uh, this retails for $199. As I said before, I bought it for $59.99. A complete steal. I don't think I've bought, an, I've bought an a tech deal, tech product that was this good in a very, very long time. This thing just works flawlessly. I haven't had any issues. So, anyways, that's how you root it. Copy the file from my site at tabletvideos.info forward slash downloads. It's a simple PD root <coughs> dot zip file, and you know, and, and while you're here, simply just go to my main site also. You know, kind of a tacky little plug, but you know, go to tabletvideos.info, check out what I have. I do personal and customized reviews. I uh, do video reviews. I do regular written reviews. This is all original content. I don't copy this from anywhere. I also do reviews on vendors and some other interesting new Android news. But you know, check out my site if you like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Post a comment. I'm also looking for people to contribute too. Uh, check this out. And of course, always check out Android Tablets. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> Android. Yeah, AndroidTablets.net, which is a great site. I've been on here for a couple of months now. If you're not on here, you need to be on here because 10,000 plus other people are on this site and it's expanding every day. Anyways, that's how you root this pan digital. Um, if you have any questions, simply reply back to me and I'll answer all your questions. I'm not the greatest person at tablets, but I'm learning.